Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this terrific Tuesday for learning. Today is Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. We're glad you're back with us for a great day of learning. I'm out here outside um, here at Frylands. Um, this month is Native American Heritage Month. So this back, uh, George W. Bush, one of our presidents, um, about 2008, I believe, um, established um, Native American Heritage Month for November. And so this is a chance for us this month to recognize the people that lived here way before us. Those are called indigenous people. Indigenous means the people that um, were here first. So these are our First Nations or Native Americans who were here. So um, it's always great to honor the people that came before us. So if you think about it, long before Frylands was here, long before the town of Monroe was started up, there were people here and we will honor those people. Um, they actually are the coastal Salish Native Americans. So the Salish Seas, which are those, the Puget Sound area, um, the oceans and waterways um, from the Pacific up through Vancouver Island, uh, in, in British Columbia, Canada. Those are the Salish Seas, and so these are, are the lands of the Salish people. So the Salish people were here for thousands of years before other people came here. So they lived here for what we call millennia, which means a thousand years and another thousand years. They've lived here for thousands of years. So we honor and celebrate the people that came before us to this land, this beautiful area that we live in. Um, those are the Salish people and they had different groups of people. You may have heard of the Snohomish or the Tulalips. These are different groups of people that lived in this area of the Salish Seas. Um, and so we honor them today as we start off um, our Tuesday and, and think about the people that came before us. Um, we honor them and the land that we are on and there are still Native Americans within our area who live here as well. So we wanna honor those first people that have been here well before us um, and enjoy the beauty of this area of Washington State. So as we get started on this Tuesday, today um, on our lunch menu, we have beef nachos and Mexican style refried beans. We also have a turkey and cheese sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. Are you interested in the yearbook cover contest? Well. It ends this Friday. So I know a lot of uh, students have got those turned in and a lot of students said, oh, I'm trying to get that done in time. So just remember, Friday is the final day to turn in the yearbook cover contest entries. Um, speaking of Friday, Friday also is Popcorn Day and PTA Movie Night. Thank you, PTA, for the work that you do every day. They came here yesterday and they had a contest um, uh, voting for which movie uh, students would want to see on Friday night. So Popcorn Day Friday and then Friday night's movie is The Grinch. All right, so The Grinch was the movie that was picked um, for uh, Friday night as well. Tonight our PTA has a special fundraiser going on at Toscano's. It's called Toscano's Dine Out. They did this last month as well. So tonight from 5 to 8 p.m. if you're interested, your family can dine out at Toscano's. Um, you will need this form or something uh, with, with the code on it. You have to take this with you and what happens is they agree to donate 15% of your bill to the PTA. So the PTA has that fundraiser going on tonight. Also, are you a fourth and fifth grader? Um, I know that some of you wanted to do uh, the mistletoe market in December. We have a special event coming up in December and so fourth and fifth graders, if you were wanting to be in uh, and have your own booth set up at that event, um, here's the forms, they're in the office. These are also due this Friday. So the mistletoe market, this is for vendors applications. A vendor is the person who's selling items. And so um, it's five, uh, it's five dollars for vendor reservations for that. Um, yesterday I talked to you about naming emotions. Remember I talked to you about doing that? Well, I just wanted to remind you that when we come to school every day, we come to school with different emotions, right? All of us have different emotions, even for the same things. For example, we all want to have friends at school, right? 
and we, we know that people can have similar and different feelings for the same situation. Like for example, I might be afraid to climb one of those trees back there, right? I may go, oh, I'm afraid to do that. And I may have a friend who may get excited going, whoa, I get to climb a tree, I'm so excited. Do you see how that's the same situation, climbing a tree, and how somebody could be excited to do that, and somebody could be scared to do that, right? So learning to respect other people's feelings can help us manage and keep our friends. This week, notice other people's feelings and whether they're on, they're the same or different for your, from your feelings for the same thing. Like some people, they want it quiet and other people, they want it loud and exciting. So we can have the same uh, situations going on in different feelings. So I want you to try and recognize that this week um, when you're um, with your friends. You know what we've been spending a lot of time doing is talking about attendance. Attendance matters, boys and girls. Being here every day and being on time is important. So what we did is we, we were sharing attendance from September and then October. So today what I wanna share with you is attendance from the 1st of November, that means the day after Halloween, until last Thursday. So um, just about eight days or seven days, I guess it was, um, of being on time and being at school. And I wanted to figure out which classrooms um, were doing the best at that. And you know what I found? The students who were here the most, 97% of the time, 97% is great. That was Miss Haynes' classroom, great job. And then for being on time, 99% of the time, like only, I think one student one day of those days from November 1st through November 9th, 99% of the time Mrs. Veely's class was on time. So Mrs. Veely's class and Miss Haynes' class, you've earned an extra recess this week for being on time and being here at school. So boys and girls, we're gonna keep monitoring that and we're gonna give out some recognition for extra recesses for being on time and for being at school every day. So Miss Haynes' class, whoop, whoop, whoop. Mrs. Veely's class, whoop, whoop, whoop. Great job. The rest of you, you're doing a great job too. So we're here um, during that time, 94% of our students were here every day. That was the average and 95% on time. So let's try and get here at school on time and get here every day. That's our goal, all right? So try and keep that up. Great job. Um, let's see what else I got. Oh, how about birthdays? We got three of them. Happy birthday today to Logan Martin. Also happy birthday to Rishan Patnick. And happy birthday to Aubrey Wickersheim. So happy birthday to Logan, Rishan, and Aubrey. I want you to have an awesome day on your birthday today. And come on down and pick out the birthday bucket this morning. All right, boys and girls, let's have a great day of learning here at Frylands. We live in a beautiful area. It's kind of cold and foggy out. I think the sun's gonna come out at some point today and be a beautiful day for us. Let's have an awesome day of learning together. And always remember, your Frylands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon.